All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, it is officially day one. Uh, we uh, just left the lodge. We're back on the approach trail. Uh, so plan is to do about seven miles today uh, and head up to Springer Mountain. The weather is great. Uh, Springer Mountain shelter on top of Springer Mountain. Uh, that's the official start of the AT. Uh, but it's about a seven miles. Uh, weather is great. Uh, about mid thirties right now. It's supposed to be up in the lower fifties uh, midday. Uh, but sunny skies, so look forward to the day. We're taking our first break. We think we've gone about three miles, two and a half? About three. About three miles. Um, it's really nice out. It's cold, but it's perfect hiking weather. Three and a half miles to go. Both feeling great. Cannot beat this weather. Just amazing. Peanut butter and jelly for, for lunch. <laughs> this is a gift that keeps on giving because the more you eat, the lighter it gets. <laughs> one pound, two ounce bottle right now. And Christy decided not to have one for lunch today. She wants me to carry the extra weight up, up the spring. Here. <laughs> We've come to a tough part. Okay, so I think we're about two miles from the terminus at Springer Mountain. We have not seen a lot of people out here. We've passed a couple of section hikers and, and two through hikers. So we're kind of interested to see how many people will be at the shelter. There was 50 people that registered online to start today. That doesn't necessarily mean that they will actually start, but we're just wondering where everybody is. So far today's been great. My feet are a little sore, but not terrible. We, um, they told us yesterday they're expecting about 3,000 people this year to attempt to hike the trail. And we were, we were like in the 1170s. So there's still quite a few people that are going to start. That's the AT. Lee, hold on. Yeah. Take it over. Hold Bring a beagle? He's a uh, cardigan corgi. Oh, is he? Yeah. Noon. Oh, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to the shelter. I think you're right. Yeah. Before the other one, before o'clock, we walked into the gale head with a mini keg of beer. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't carrying it, believe me. I had somebody who was much more athletic than me carrying it. Oh, man. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a mini keg of beer. And, uh, Okay, so we're officially now on the trail and we're following the white blazes. Okay, we've made it to the shelter area. I do a quick video of this preview. I'll well, know. Hopefully, no one's in it. This is basically this is basically what it looks like. Ooh. 
I'd rather not. Campsite markings. So here's a shelter. We don't plan on staying in one of these because we've heard there's mice. Okay, guys, I think we got everything ready for tonight. And now we have to go and filter some water for dinner and breakfast in the morning. Okay, so we just walked uh, down the path a little bit to the water source here by the shelter and camping area. And we are going to be filtering our first bladder full of water. How you do it? <laughs> so we're filtering this one with gravity. We could also squeeze the water into the bottle. <laughs> okay, we got our water and we're filtering it now. We already got one big bottle. Okay, we've had our dinner and we've brushed our teeth, so we are going to put our bear bags into the bear box so the bears don't get us. Hey guys, so it's about 6.15 and we are in the tent ready ready to go to bed for the night. Um, we made it to Springer Mountain Shelter. We en It ended up being about eight miles that we did today. It wasn't bad. I didn't think it was bad. No, no. Especially when people are saying it was the worst part. I mean, we've done worse, I think. Yeah, I think part of that was because we did the that first mile yesterday. We did those, got those stairs out of the way. So that, that made a big difference. Yeah. Um, so I mean, once once we got to the shelter here, the campsite, there aren't many people here. Maybe t less than ten. Uh, so we met a few folks, uh, had dinner with them around the shelter area, uh, cooked our food, and we were ready ready for bed. And you can see I already have all my snivel gear on, yeah. hat, gloves. Christy hasn't put hers on yet, but. Um, I'm about ready to zip this fart sack up and go to bed. So <laughs> it's it's only about fifty right now, so it's it's, it's not colder really, than fifty. It's not. I just looked at the okay. temp. It's about fifty right now. It's not that cold, but it is supposed to get down to below freezing. There's a freeze warning, so um, we have to sleep with our water filter and also with all of our electronics because it'll drain the battery. I yeah. guess. I I have my little down booties on. <laughs> Do you have yours on? Yes. And Matthew has his on too. Tomorrow we're planning to hike to Hawk Mountain Shelter. It'll be another eight mile day. Um, I think today I definitely could have hiked longer, um, but we, we've really made a commitment that the first couple weeks we're gonna stick with eight miles a day just to give our bodies time to adjust to our new full-time job of hiking mountains. Yeah, and tomorrow's uh, the first part of the hike is going to be, a lot of it's going to be downhill, uh, which you would think is easy, but it's tough on the knees. So uh, so in terms of aches and pains, um, so I'm definitely having some muscle aches in my hip, my left hip. It's just from, you know, wearing the weight on your hips and kind of going uphill most of the day this afternoon. Uh, but other than that, um, everything else feels pretty good. Uh, I'm sure in the morning everything will kind of recover. We'll be ready to go for uh, tomorrow's trek. So, all right, we'll see you guys. Good night, guys.